Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from River Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. Uh, right now, as you can tell, of course, I'm at home and I just had one of um, an interesting week. Uh, it has been my first full week here at Walmart and it has also been like kind of a reminder of what really trucking is about. Uh, so for 10 years, I would say I have only been doing local driving and there is a really big difference between being a local truck driver and being um, an over the road or regional truck driver. It's totally a different thing. When you are like driving just locally, you are almost like in this box, right? Uh, you there, there, There's a lot that you don't experience as uh, a truck driver. It's almost like you are not even a truck driver. You get to go home every day, see your, uh, your family. You are, uh, you are driving like in the same places. I mean, probably even after I've been here for some time, I'll be going to the same places, but there is something different about it. So the first load that I got uh, was out of Fort Worth. Right now the time is it's almost one o'clock. I have a load that heads down to Houston. It's kind of a time-sensitive load, but I have enough time because it's supposed to be there before 11 p.m. But one of the things that I'm learning is this um, extra board issue with trucks. It's a little bit of a challenge because something happened today. I came in, the truck they had given me was not even at the yard. It's in Garland. They gave me another truck, which is this one right here. And the driver had left in his staff, so I had to spend a lot of time uh, you know, like taking out his stuff. The good thing is the safety manager came to help me out with that. And then I had to clean it. Uh, then I had to do like, we do like a review every, we do like a 30 day, 60 day and 90 days. So I wanted to knock that one out. So I went to HR, to safety and to the operations manager to knock that one out. So it took me uh, more time than I, than I thought. I had asked the lady and she had said about 30 minutes, but it ended up being way longer than that because I had to meet with three people. But right now I'm here. I'm going to go to the office, pick up my load and head to Houston. So right now I'm about halfway into my journey. Uh, let me see. So usually what I do, um, I put my like my ETA a little bit further away. So I had said that I will be available at about 10 10:38 in the in the night, right? So I'm gonna reduce it by two hours. I'm gonna say 20:38. I have about 120 miles to go. All right, let's get out of here. So I made it to Houston. Um, 
I want to say maybe about 40 minutes ago, I'm waiting on the Lord. Uh, right now the time is 7.20. I don't want to drive past 10 o'clock p.m. I started my clock around 9 o'clock, so technically I can drive until 11 o'clock. But I really don't want to drive past 10 o'clock. If I could stop even before 9 o'clock, it would work for me. So, I don't have a load on me. I call them to let them know that I need a load because I need to know how I'm going to plan this out. Where the load is coming from, if it has to be picked up today, if I need to pick up an empty from here, which most likely I need to. Uh, hopefully they have empties. I think they do. Because the guy told me I'm going to get them from up there so I can see some trailers up there. The question is, where am I going from here? I just saw a Walmart, uh, a Walmart driver. I think uh, he's taking his, his brake right here. Not his brake. Well, what do they call it? I think he's going to take his turn right there. He came, he came in after me, so I think he's going to shut down and maybe start from here. I don't know. But uh, I just saw some another driver go out, I think, with a trailer. I see another, another one coming in. Looks like it's busy. But I'm going to find out what they are going to give me, and then I, I have to figure out where I'm going to spend the night. Uh, I haven't yet got used to figuring out where to spend the nights. Like, I need, I need to learn... Um, like which stores are good, where the DCs are, depending on the location where I am. So we'll see how today plays out. So they gave me a load that goes, uh, that has to pick out of Baytown. Uh, we have a very big DC out there, um, but they don't have showers there. So I was thinking maybe I would be able to stop by a truck stop and get a shower. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that again. This is what uh, tracking is like because there are sometimes you may not be able to get in a shower and so you have to use you know like um, uh, the, the body wash wipes and then of course you know like looking for a place to park um, so that night uh, by the way when I got there to pick up my trailer I uh, it has uh, one of the tires was flat there were two nails in the tires so I had to call um, a road service to come and fix it. It took them a while, I think like maybe three hours for them to come. But at that moment, at least, I didn't have to worry about anything. I was already shut down for the night. I was just waiting for them to come fix it. So I was uh, kind of like in my sleeper, sleeping and waiting for them at the same time. So they fixed it. In the morning, I was just ready to go. All right, so... I'm gonna head over to this place is really really big so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head over to where the office is but before I do that I want to put on a cup of tea I got this um, kettle right here it's uh, it just has like one cup right but it's really nice I got this off of Amazon because we have inverters in the truck so all I do is put in water and have it a cup of tea or cup of cup of coffee if I can't get it from from uh, the truck stop or from the office actually they may it's my first time going to I'm gonna go to the office they may have coffee but I'm thinking I want to drink tea instead of coffee, so that's why I'm going to boil myself some here. Some water here so I can, I can have some. I have a switch here that I have to turn on. The first, the first time I was in the truck, uh, the other truck that I borrowed last time, I looked for the switch to turn on the inverter and I just couldn't find it. Until I asked, I found the driver 
and I asked him where the inverter street who switch was. I thought it was on the inverter it's itself, but it does not where it is. Anyway, let's get out of here. I need to get my paperwork so we can start on this long drive. Since I didn't have um, a shower that night, I was determined to make sure that I have it, uh, a shower. So I realized that driving from Houston all the way to um, Ottawa in Kansas, uh, I was going to be routed through Sanga. So I'm like, okay, I'll stop by Sanga and make sure that I have a shower. Okay, right now the time is 4.12. I stopped by Sangha just to take a shower. Yesterday I didn't take a shower. I just used, you know, like the wash wipes. I made sure today I'm having a shower. So I'm stopping by here, take a quick shower, and then continue. I'm thinking I'll stop by somewhere in Oklahoma uh, for my 10 hour break. So after about maybe two hours of filling up my truck and taking a shower, I headed on to uh, Oklahoma City. I knew that I, I would get a store to park at, so I parked at the store for the night and I was it, it was my first time, you know, like sleeping at a Walmart store. So I stayed there for the night, uh, that was Friday uh, night. So Saturday morning, I was ready to hit the road again. Good morning, good morning. It's Saturday. Right now the time is 7.23. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm about halfway uh, into my trip. I'm, I'm going again up to Kansas. Slept here in um, Oklahoma City at this store right here. It was a good sleep. As I said, I had already taken a shower, so I felt refreshed. I've, I was just ready uh, to break. Now I'm ready to head over to... Okay, see, I need to stop by somewhere. We didn't have um, death at the terminal. So, well, now I don't know if the DC I'm going to has uh, fuel pumps. I could be able to get fuel there we'll see So I got to um, or, uh, the, the DC out there in uh, Kansas where I was delivering. I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to make sure I get in a shower because remember, uh, yesterday, which was uh, a Friday, I had taken a shower at uh, the Sanga DC where I'm out of. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make sure I take a shower here in Kansas before I figure out where they want me to go next. I get there and the showers are down. They are going to be doing some renovation and construction so that uh, they didn't have any hot water. Uh, they were trying to put some portable showers outside, but those had not yet been hooked up. 
so i received a lot from there and i'm like okay i'm going to have to figure out where a truck stop is so i can put in a shower so i go to the store I ended up getting to Kansas at the distribution center, dropped that load, and then they didn't have anything on me. So I asked them what, uh, I told them I was done, I needed something else. They gave me this, la this load that I just brought here in Missouri. Uh, actually, this was supposed to deliver tomorrow, but th they were short on freight. There were many drivers there waiting for loads, so they, are ki they kind of started giving out loads for tomorrow. Just dropped this. I was on my way. I received a message. Uh, they had told uh, they had planned something on me. So right now, I'm just gonna go somewhere to a vendor, pick up a load, and head out to Bentonville. I'm loving it. Uh, I, I, I like the productivity. And the fact that I'm getting to uh, see uh, the DCs that I haven't been at before. And I'm telling you, even getting back into, you know, like that drive, looking at the beautiful places, I love it. So from the store they sent me to go and pick up a load which was gonna go all the way to um, to Arkansas. Because the load I picked up was heavy, I'm like, okay, I need to scale this. So when I go to scale it, I'm gonna also take a shower at the truck stop. Good morning, friends, good morning. I'm in Missouri. This is where I spent the night. So that's me right there. That's where I spent the night. Now, when I came in, they still had some spots in there I could have parked in there. But the reason why they don't want us uh, parking at truck stops, they discourage us, is because of accidents. So I didn't want to park in there just because somebody may want to back in and they may end up hitting me. So there was a good spot right there. I parked right there. Now I could have gone to a store that is about seven or eight miles from here but the reason why I came here to, uh, in the first place, I wanted to take a, a shower and I wanted to scale my load. This is a heavy load. So when I scaled it, I realized I had to slide my tandems. As you can see them, they are all the way almost to the back. And so I didn't want to start going to Walmart because I wasn't sure of how the uh, how that how tight maybe that place is i'm like you know what i'm here let me take my shower 
I slid my tandem all the way and I'll take it from here. I'm like, after all, the Bible says, if God does not watch the city, they labor in vain who wash after that city. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to park here. I'm just going to ask God to watch over me. And that's what I did. And then it rained. So it's wet roads out there. But I'm heading to Bentonville right now. I'm just going to do my my pre-trip the time is 7 33 so i should be out of here by eight o'clock and the day starts so the drive uh to uh to Bentonville was kind of like wet and uh, a little bit a mixture of wet and dry but it was enjoyable because uh when i got to the town the gps kind of somehow I missed a turn because it was showing as if I'm supposed to go straight. But actually, there were some two lanes that I was supposed to turn at. So I ended up taking a route uh, through town that I shouldn't have taken. But I'm glad I took it because through that route, I got to see where the Walmart, you know, like home offices are. There is like a, a Walmart museum and what have you. I was going through that and I'm like, I have to figure out how I'm going to come back here with my family so we can see this Walmart museum. That was really exciting for me for the very first week to have an opportunity at least to see where... um. Uh, the Walmart, you know, like home offices and all that stuff is. And the interesting thing, when I was, uh, from there I got a load that goes back to uh, to Sanga. On my way from there, heading back to Sanga, still in Arkansas, I'm on the highway and guess what I see? I see the uh, JB Hunt headquarters too. I had always, like with JB Hunt, I was like, I need to figure out how we go up there with my family to to see where those offices are. So I got the chance to see them uh, on the free one. I'm like, what? I've got to see both Walmart and JB Hunt uh, home offices. That was exciting. But I think on this journey, the, the thing that I could remember was, it was almost like memories of, you know, like going down all these hills and turns and using the jack brake and remembering that, oh, this is why we have jack brakes on the trucks. Because you are driving through all these hills and turns and, you know, like here in Texas, we have flatlands, you never use, almost, you never use the jack brake, but out there you have all these steep hills. You're supposed to be careful about the turns because some of them are abrupt. You are looking at all this beautiful vegetation, the greens, the trees, and then the waters, wherever you're like, oh my God, I've been living in this box. Now, all of a sudden there is, you know, like this opening, it was an interesting uh, drive and something that I really made me remember what trucking is all about. So they gave me a load coming back to Sanga. good morning today is monday which is my go home day yesterday um when i was in missouri i woke up to rain today same thing woke up to rain um but it's an exciting day because it's my go home day um i just got a load that is going to plano and from what i see it's coming back uh when i drop it off i just have to come back here which means it's gonna be a short day I don't know how the roads are since it's wet. Hopefully, uh, drivers are not careless. Um, like, we don't have a lot of accidents because usually when it's wet, 
uh, you tend to run into accidents. But either way, I think I have enough time. I just pray that everything goes well. Um, unless they change their minds, today may be a short day. I was actually thinking they're going to give me maybe like two stops. Uh, but I ended up with one and I was surprised. So it looks like it's going to be a short day, which is good. That means I will have more time with my family. All right, so let's get out of here and go get this Lord delivered. Well, I thought that it was going to be a short, um, a short day. It turned out to be a long day because when, uh, when, uh, when I got to Plano, I was supposed to pick up an empty heading back to Sanga, but they didn't have an empty uh, there. They had pallets. So I had to take those pallets um, to one of the pallet yards. And then from the pallet yard, I had to go back to Sanga. When I got to Sanga, they gave me another load and it was two hours away. I was heading to Wichita Falls, which like I had some some good time. And so I'm like, oh, I can make that. So I go out to Wichita Falls, I get there, and guess what? They didn't have an empty too. Uh, the reason being, the load they gave me was to be delivered the following day. So they didn't have a, a, an empty. I, I ended up having to wait for them to unload one of the trailers that was already there. So I got a load coming to Wichita Falls. Right now I'm in Wichita Falls. The only challenge is I've dropped the load but I don't have an empty. This load was supposed to be delivering tomorrow, so they hadn't yet unloaded the trailer that is in the door. They are just doing it, and it's gonna take them about two hours. So I called dispatch, and so they contacted, you know, like, um, they have to contact some other people that do our planning, so they find out what they want me to do. Uh, I have about less than six hours left on my 14. So I don't know if they're going to let me bobtail back or what they want, want me to do. I'm not sure. I'll just wait and see. The good thing is they had already started unloading that trailer. So it took them about maybe two hours to get that done. And when they got that done, I just hooked to it uh, and headed back to Sanga. So it ended up being a really longer day than I expected. But everything worked out well. Um, it just reminded me about what trucking is. Like you never know what to expect. Every day is different things. Uh, you're passing through all these um, different uh, places. So I got to drive in Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas. And I just enjoyed the week. It was uh, an interesting one. So hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.
yeah Driver success, yeah This is driver success Sharing my life, my life It's as real as it gets Keep my faith in my creator He is my navigator So tell me if you ready Cause you know I'm rolling steady A husband, father, Christian and truck driver Telling you my story and the world through my eyes So keep the faith, keep the faith. let's keep it fresh And this is driver success, yeah Let's go.